11, a deadly shooting in North Bay Village leaves a man dead and a woman in critical condition and a child was inside the home when shots were fired. Tonight, one person is in custody and neighbors are shaken up. CBS 4's Gabriel Arzola is at the scene of that shooting. Gabby, this is not common in that area, is it? That's right, uh, Elliot. Historically, this area is actually known for being very quiet. That's why neighbors tonight tell me that they are absolutely devastated with what's happened. What appears to be a bloody handprint and a shattered window tells a horrifying story of what happened in Unit 7 just hours earlier. One neighbor showed me surveillance video of what happened early Monday morning. What he first thought was construction was actually gunshots in the Belle Isle complex. We counted more than 14 shots in the span of 10 minutes. We met neighbor Sarah Bolanos, who says she heard a woman yelling from inside the home when it was happening. On the screen, the lady, help me, please, help me. When police went inside, they say they found one man dead, this man holding a gun, a woman in critical condition, and an unharmed two-year-old girl. Longtime neighbor Mark Salinas tells us he never suspected anything violent going on in this home. He recalls all the times he'd see the man, woman, and little girl on Sundays going to church. The nice couple with a nice little kid, a nice little girl. It's a shame that it was shocking for me to hear that it was them. Now investigators have yet to identify who this man is and what relationship he had to the victims. This is not necessarily a domestic situation that we know of, but th this is a very tragic incident. If you know someone that's suffering from a domestic, a violent domestic situation, please remember that the county has several resources available where you can be discreet about it and seek help. Now tonight, we're still working on getting the identity of that man in custody. Elliot, Lauren.